G'day, it's Ashmin here at the 2013 World Finals here in St. Petersburg, Russia. I've got Rob Miles here. What are the the soft or the which, world which, citizenship? I, I got this wrong because I've got the wrong teeth in. It's the World Citizenship Software Development <laughs> Competition, <laughs> cool. and I'm the uh, competition captain type thing. Great. Well, um, I guess we were just saying before we started the interview uh, about Sydney and and looking at Russia. Um, when we're looking at for, for Russia, we've got a different um, competition format. Yep. Uh, we've got a few more different categories, yep. and um, we're in a completely new, <laughs> new place, uh, different language, and, and as you said, more bridges. More bridges, yeah, the open. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's the innovation and the citizenship split has been interesting because it's actually, I think it's, it's freed the students off from having to find a world well, citizenship focus for a, a straight line business app. Yep. And it's also meant that the, the guys doing the world citizenship pure can really focus on that yeah. and don't have to worry quite so much about the, the, the business story although mm -hmm. we love to see that there as well yeah so um, I think it's, it's it's a good thing uh, and uh, I've seen some stunning stuff yeah as usual uh, it, it's uh, there's a few things that have really impressed me mm -hmm. students now take cloud backend as a given mm -hmm. so if you if you if they make something they'll put it in the cloud because yeah, that's excellent. where the data should live mm -hmm. uh, and there's also lots of people making hardware uh, yeah. Huge numbers of entries have now got an embedded element, mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's that's nice to see as well. Yeah, well, we um, talking to Kurt Steck actually just before, earlier, and um, he also made mention of that hardware mm. uh, element as well. And do you think that compared to previous Imagine Cup competitions, the level, the standard has just is continuing to rise, <laughs> or is it just that the projects are adapting to the, the different technologies? The standard gets better. The students get better at presenting it, and, and the value which the competition adds to the students gets gets more each time as well mm -hmm. because they get a broader range of skills. Um, they probably had no reason to play with hardware or look at cloud in detail until they hit their project, yes. but they pick up a whole bunch of extra technical skills, and they've also got a whole bunch of extra presentational skills and management skills that they won't be aware they have until five years down the line they'll go for a job, yeah. they'll get it, the other guy won't, That's right. they'll be on the back of their managing of experience. So, I mean, it's a continuous process of uh, getting more interesting and better. Mm. And because the, the tools change, we didn't have the cloud five years ago. Yeah. We, we, we didn't have these lovely embedded tools you can use now to produce mm -hmm. and prototype very easily. So, yeah, because the field is changing, uh, it, it's it's always different. It's always interesting, and in my experience, it's always better, mm. which is lovely. Mm. We, we, it's, I guess it just begs begs the question of what are we going to see next year? <laughs> um, it's it's you know even in in the last twelve months, just the I don't know, the, but it'll be awesome. <laughs> I, I, I don't like using the word awesome because that's an American word. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> but uh, as a Brit saying awesome, it'll be it'll be really sweet. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Yeah. And, and, uh, um, if I'm around next year to see it, that will be wonderful. Mm. Well, I, I can't wait either. And uh, for for students wanting to enter next year, what's a, what's a key piece of advice you would give to them? Key piece of advice is start now. Mm -hmm. Keep a keep a get a do a lot. Play with tech until an idea rolls around the corner. Mm. Figure out what the idea is and stay true to it. As a temptation that if you add lots of bits and pieces and stuff to your life's simple idea, you'll make it better. Quite often you won't. Sometimes the best ideas are the simple idea which yeah. are well realized and thought through. And by thought through, I mean, don't just think about the happy path. Think about what happens if it fails. If your lovely network connection to the cloud goes wrong, your app should, should do something sensible. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the thing to me is to make it complete, make it believable, and stay true to what it is that you're building. Yeah. And you'll be fine, and wherever it is next year, and I have no idea, yeah. maybe it's in Hull where I am, but I think that's probably <laughs> somewhat <laughs> unlikely, but it would be great if it was. Um, but yeah, wherever it is, you might be there as well. Excellent. Well, uh, thank you for that, and yeah. I think um, uh, the students at home are going to love that piece of advice. And. Uh, and if you want to see more interviews uh, with uh, judges, captains, uh, executives or students, make sure you follow the MSP social media team on Facebook, Twitter or YouTube using the hashtag ImagineCup or MSPSMT. Uh, thanks again, Rob Miles. Okay, and don't forget RobMiles.com, the only blog you need to visit. <laughs> At least once in your life you should go to RobMiles.com. Uh, but there you go. That's, that's, my, that's my plugging out of the way that's as well. It. Great. Well, um, I'm Ashman Says on Twitter, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing you online next time.